And we are live. <laughs> Hi. All right, I can't tell if we're live or not. Let me just check and see here. It's, it's showing come up. It's showing that we are, but it is a little fuzzy. So it could be the internet. Okay. And I, I was trying to do this on Tuesday, last Tuesday, I think it was, right? And that was the day that like the whole internet fell apart. <laughs> so Oh, I see it. We are live. I see it. <laughs> good well um, good hi everybody it's free everyone remembers me because this is my group but um yeah free from essentially balanced life um here today it's a beautiful sunny day so we won't keep this too long i know if it's sunny where you are you're probably really excited to get outside but um yeah i'm here with my wonderful upline bonnie donahue from essential oils for moms uh, she's a mother of four, and I don't actually know where you're living right now, but um, yeah, down in the U.S. We change early. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so Bonnie and I are going to share with you. There's quite a few new people in this group, so we're just going to keep it basic today with the, um, you know, essential oil basics, how to use them, and go over the top 10. There's so many uses for these oils, so even if you're not new to oils you're gonna find a use or two that can value that can find value for you and um yeah if you're not able to tune in today you'll be watching this later and it'll be up for forever so um yeah so bonnie i'll take it over to you she's a want wonderful mom of four kids you guys everyone applaud her because i've got one and i don't even make it through each day without, without a line so um yeah where well, i'm sure we're gonna get you know i can't imagine having four kids and not having these oils. So yeah, I'm sure it's going to be really fun to chat with you today. So yeah, yeah Bonnie, go ahead. It helps with Thank stress you. for sure. <laughs> and that's what I'm, that's what I'm actually, I'm about, I'll, I'll kind of uh, share what my, my focus is, but thank you for that. And I know everybody listening to this, we're doing this live in Breeze group and I don't know if she like kind of toots her own horn enough, but I will let you know that she is one of our top enrollers like month after month. And that is because she helps women and moms and, and you know, some men too, but she has a passion for natural living for the oils. I actually learned from her. So she's very knowledgeable. I'm actually excited to go through the top 10 oils with her because we all have our own unique ways of using the oils. And so I like talking with other moms and and learning from them. So uh, thank you, Brie, for that intro. I'll just, again, quickly introduce myself. We're in New Jersey now, so we move all around. But uh, we are moving to Indiana soon. And I'm actually going to be starting my own little farmette with chickens and a garden and kind of just get more into the natural lifestyle. So I'm excited about that. But so having the four kids, obviously, I have to be in my best and constantly going and have the energy and what was happening to me several years ago was that I was like depleted literally dead right just feeling horrible gaining weight having inflammation having the brain fog and some um, mood issues and, and different things and so after being diagnosed with adrenal fatigue and a bunch of other um, you know diagnoses that were like just masking I found out that I had the root cause was Lyme disease and I don't know if it's, if you're familiar with that Brie, but I was not. And so basically I was looking for something natural that I could do to boost my immune system to make me feel good and normal and wanting to keep up with my kids, you know? Um, and, and so I'm not here to diagnose or treat or cure anything. I'm just going to share that they literally changed my life. And then after about six months of using oils, I'm like, I need to tell every single person about these. And so like Brie said, my page is essential is for moms, but and I talk about helping your kids and 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 having that lifestyle because I think that's so important. But I really love focusing on the moms and the women because when we don't feel our best, we can't give our best, right? And we have, um, you know, our kids. We have friends. We have our business partners. We have our coworkers. We have neighbors. And there's so many people that we're giving to, but we can't do what we want, right? If we're not feeling our best, so that's what I. I'm passionate about is self-care for women, uh, filling their own cups so they can fill other cups. And so 
that's really what got me into oils. And the benefit of that, not only, you know, do I get to help others, but I'm like, I don't have to feel guilty about taking an Epsom salt bath, right? I'm like, I get, like, this is my job. I have to take an Epsom salt, so, uh, Epsom salt bath today and I have to take time to diffuse, right? You have to. And, and so it's like, I feel like we do the best thing ever. We get to use essential oils every single day, right? You know, we can't sell them or share them, right? If we're not using them. So um, I just feel like what better path in life to take that we're constantly leading with ourselves first and showing up so we can help others. So, hey, I see a bunch of people are on and commenting. If you guys are listening live, I'd love to hear where you're from. If you are a mom, if you have kids, if what, um, what your experience is with the oils. Are you using them already? Are you brand new? And also if there's something that you want to learn, just leave a comment and we will uh, tailor our class for you guys, okay? So that's what, that's the benefit of getting in live. You get the, the live Q&A. So quickly, and like we said, uh, we're trying we try to keep this quick, especially I do have another appointment right after this, but there's three cool things about essential oils, right? So they're natural, totally percent nat or totally natural. Nothing is added to the oils and nothing is taking away. So everything is either cold pressed from like the citrus fruit or it's steam distilled, okay, within 24 hours. And I want you to, if you guys are interested in more about our co-impact sourcing and the healing hands, to Google that or go to doTERRA's website or we can post into our group because I really want you guys to watch the videos. First of all, have issues because you will cry. Um, but really to get to know doTERRA at the heart. So if you guys are new here, right, we're talking about doTERRA, um, essential oils, which I think they all know because they're in your group. But one of the things when I was looking for oils, and I didn't have a friend that was sharing oils with me, I had to go and like search it out. Like, what can I do to help me with my body? And I read every article, I researched, I even went to the doTERRA home office and talked to the scientists to see like, is this really it? You know, like I can only use the best and, and I don't want to use anything artificial or fake or um, diluted. And so doTERRA is the top, right? They are the purest, the most potent, the highest compound, you know, everything that you want essential oil, they have them. So doTERRA sources from 40 different different countries to find where the plant go, grows indigenously. And that's what we want in an essential oil. Okay, so they're natural, they're effective. Okay, so an oil can penetrate through your cells in your body and get to every single cell in your body. Okay, they're very, very effective. And you can start noticing a difference in a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. And by 20 minutes, your whole body has received the, the benefit of the oil. Okay, um, and then so they're natural. They're effective and they're totally safe because they're from the, the planet, the earth, right, that we were, we've been given. And so doTERRA means gift from the earth. And I truly believe, like, we're just meant to live in nature. And, and I know, Brie, you agree, you know, the more natural we can uh, live, it's going to be better for us. And, and removing all the toxic chemicals and artificial things, that's just our body is going to recognize it. So they're natural, safe, and effective. Three cool ways to use essential oils, or three ways to use essential oil is one, aromatically, okay? And this is the simplest way. So if you're brand new to oils and you've never used them, it is um, putting, you can put it in diffuser, or what do you have there? You're just gonna put it in your hand, great, awesome. So you can diffuse it with a diffuser and fill up the air in your home, or Brie, you can show them a hand diffuser. I love it. Yeah. And that's so good. Which which one did you put on? I used a bit of peppermint today. I need a lot of energy today. We're going outside. We're going to prune fruit trees and uh, do a bunch of work in the garden now that the snow's melted. So oh, yeah, I'm just going to stay high energy today. I love it. I Right before this class, I put lemon all over me. And it's just so fresh and cleansing. And we're we're like cleaning out the house and cleaning out my inside. I'm, I'm also drinking grapefruit. So um, I love that your body just kind of tells you what oil you need. So yeah, aromatically, you put it into the air. It's a great way to get the oils into kids, especially if you're brand new, you just diffuse it in the home. The other thing that I like too, and I know we're not all moms here, but I love 
being in control of my family's atmosphere and setting the mood, right? I feel like that's my responsibility and I love doing that. And you can do that, of course, um, just for yourself too. But when you're waking up and you want to have like invigorating start your day, you can do the peppermint or the wild orange or the citrus bliss at night, or you can do like serenity or cedarwood to calm the family down or to calm yourself down after a long day. Um, you can diffuse or um, forgive. Let's say you had a hard day and you're too hard on either others or yourself. You can um, either take a bath in it or diffuse it and um, you're gonna you know, have some forgiveness. And then like homework time, focusing blends. So you are really in control of how you want your home to feel. Okay, so I love, love, love that. Not only the benefits of purifying air and removing you know, the germs there, you are creating this tone for your life, okay? Um, do, you want, do you have anything to add to that? Well, just some days you don't want to get up and go. Sometimes like a Sunday morning, Winnie wakes up singing freaking songs and tries to like run all over the house. And it's just like, let's just chill out. It's Sunday morning. <laughs> like mm -hmm. that's so yeah, like balance and let's just sit down and snuggle on the couch and read books. Like yeah, I, some days it's just really good to be able to manipulate your atmosphere and manipulate the environment in your home really easily and in a great smelling way. You know, it's just like, yeah, it's pleasant, you know? Yes, actually, and so this morning I was spraying, this is kind of aromatic, I would say, but I was spraying, I have a happy spray that I spray my kids before they go to school. And sometimes I just use a roller and sometimes I use a spray. And so today I use the spray and I'm spraying everyone with a happy spray. And now they get to smell it all day and, you know, it's on their shirt it, and they're breathing it in and they're feeling confident. You know, other people will do comment and say, oh, how awesome they smell. You know, my daughter loves that because she's at that age where they love to smell good. But um, yeah, so there's so many different ways to use it aromatically. The next way is topically. And I would say that's, um, a uh, very, very, very popular way to use it. And again, there's so many different ways of using it topically. Uh, the first way, so if you're brand new to oils, again, you know, there's so many different levels of, of how detailed you can get into the oil world and with your oil journey and everything. But when you're just starting out and you're not sure what to do with an oil, if you're brand new to that oil, you could just put them on the bottom of your feet diluted and you could not go wrong with that okay so when i first started with oils i'm like that's the weirdest thing what why the bottom of your feet and basically they have the um biggest pores and they're easily um absorbed into the body and it's the least sensitive spot okay so as you're trying new things out it's the safest way is to do that way and always dilute them with a carrier oil my personal favorite is um fractionated coconut oil basically it's a liquid um coconut oil because coconuts have so many benefits the oils have so many benefits but you can use other oils if you're doing other places of your body like rosehip oil or almond oil if you have an olive oil at your house you can use that it doesn't matter go ahead i always found well i always joke around to people that you know in a pinch they can use butter if that's all they have mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah like really at the end of the day, yeah if that's all you have like you know, all canola oil whatever's in the kitchen like yeah butter it just doesn't it really doesn't matter but ideally you would use something that is you know just a little bit cleaner that doesn't go rancid and that doesn't have a scent right exactly um, an example of that use is actually at the moment I don't have them now but I woke up with um really pretty intense period cramps this morning and yeah I applied some deep blue top just right to my belly here you know wherever you feel the pain apply it immediately to that spot and I can feel the coolness of the deep blue. It's such an amazing oil if you haven't smelled it, but my cramps are at bay. So when, that's how it's not works. Yeah. <laughs> works fast. So yeah, Brie made up the a good point. So you start with the bottom of your feet, but then it's pretty self-explanatory. You put the oil where you want the benefit. So she had cramping. So she put it right on her belly, right? She, she doesn't need to put them on the bottom of her feet, although she would probably still get some benefit, but she's gonna go right to the source, right? And so if you're having a muscle pain or you get a burn on your arm, you could put the lavender right on there. If you have acne or a wrinkle, you put it right there. Um, Digestin, if you're having um, upset stomach or nausea or, um, you know, basically you get, the, you get the point, you put it where you want it, okay? Um, diluted, I, I always think you should dilute everything because 
it will absorb better and it is also going to save you on your oils because it's diluted so they last longer um, and you don't need the full strength now sometimes i do that but most of the time by diluting is the best and one of the things that we do in doTERRA and i don't i didn't bring my um roller bottle here but we do you have a roller bottle you can show them um we make ro ro roller bottles about 10 milliliters and you put in your drops that you want, however many drops you're making per recipe. If it's a kid, I always do about one drop per ever, however old they are. So if they're five, you do five drops. Um, for an adult, I like to do 10 to 20 drops. And then you fill the rest with the fractionated coconut oil or carrier oil of choice. And you roll it on to the spot. So the, a, a great place to put rollers are, again, bottom of your feet, but any pulse points. Um, you know, your temples, you can do it um, behind your ears, the back of your neck, you could do it on your wrists, you could do it on your the elbow crease. Um, you there's different spots to put it, and especially if it's a place that you want to smell it. I love putting my wrist because I just smell it all day. So, I mean, it's part of it's personal too, and I like doing behind my ears and on my neck as like a perfume. What about you, Brie? I always go with the back, I don't know, like if I'm putting an oil. I always do the and then I just always do the full and just kind of do the ring around the back of my neck and always seems right to me. Yep. And, and the, temples are great. Smell it all day too. Like, yeah. Yeah. And you know, mostly where I need the pain, where I need the relief as well, right? Yep. I love that. So then the last way, and again, we're only talking about doTERRA essential oils today. So we're not talking about the oils you can find at your gas station or Walmart or, you know, that kind of place. We're talking about the highest quality oils and not every oil you, is, you can be taken this way, but the, the last way is internally. Okay. So you see me drinking this. I have grapefruit oil, a couple of drops in here. It's heavily diluted, obviously. Um, and so I like to just sip on that. I like to sip on a citrus oil all day long. I'll start my morning with a full quart of lemon water and then switch out different oils throughout the day or whatever I feel like I'm, I need that day. And that's one of the ways to take it internally. Okay. And again, they say one drop for four ounces of water. So that would be a really, you know, you're diluting it. And, um, and some of them you don't want to taste, right, or you want the benefit. So what we would do is we have a little veggie cap. So doTERRA sells little vegetable caps, and you can actually open it up. And I should have brought one here, but you open it up, and you just pour in a drop or two or however many that you want in your little veggie cap, close the top, and then take it. And you would do that if for multiple reasons. So if there's an oil that one you don't want the taste of, but you want to take it internally, you would do that. If there's um, like digestion, let's say you don't want to rub it on you, but you like it internal and you don't want to taste it. Um, when you're dealing with something, we have like pretty, like if you're feeling under the weather, right? You might want to take like the flume recipe, which would be like frankincense, lemon, on guard, um, oregano, and tea tree or meluca, so flute, right, or flume. Oh, and you know what, Brie, they're changing the U.S. meluca to tea tree, so it's all going to be the same. Because <laughs> some of our stuff here, I'm in the U.S. and she's in Canada, some of our names are a little bit off, but so tea tree. Um, and, and But anyway, we're changing our names, so I'll be the same. So sometimes you want to take like a protocol and then you would take it internally for that. Um, but I just like taking it in my water. That's my best way to take it internally. And also some of them you can use for cooking. So you can use rosemary or oregano or even on guard or cinnamon or turmeric. Whatever you're using, you can use it as a spice. And Brie is the one to know all about that. <laughs> I'm going to say, everybody in this group sees me posting about using oils in cooking all the time. That's kind of my the main thing I post about is eating my essential oils but um honestly the my favorite way to take oils internally for in a therapeutic way is in a spoonful of honey you know mm. it just makes this yeah. and you know if, um if I make up a big you know if Winnie's even sick I'll make up a big you know like a full quarter cup of honey with one or two drops of oil and I even uh, if she has a cough or a sore throat I even feel comfortable giving her a tiny little nip of that so yep. yeah honey I think I lost you. Lost you for a second. Can you hear me, Bree? Oh. 
There we go. Okay, you're back. You're back. Okay. Uh, It froze up. It could be it could be the Facebook doing this again to us. But you know, I agree. And I actually need to learn more from you because I feel like I don't use them in cooking enough. You know, I feel like it's a skill that you have to like work your way up to. (laughs) And she's like the expert, you guys. Like seriously, whatever she says. That's where I get the butter thing from, because pretty much, you know, if you're cooking something that has butter in it, not if you're frying something, but baking per se, like I add the oils right when I'm creaming the sugar and the butter. So like, you know, if there's butter in my pot, there's going to be oils going into it too. I love it. So that's- I love it. I'm going to be making some wild orange whipped cream. That's on my list. And that's the easiest thing on the planet. But I have a recipe for that with fruit and whipped cream with the wild orange. So that's that's uh, going to be fancy for me. But all right, so let's talk about the top 10 oils. And we'll try to go quick because of time. But I mostly I want to I hear what you do, and I'll add to it. So do you want to start us off with going through the top 10? Okay, sure. Um, I've got them all lined up here, so I'll just go in order. Number one is the Mighty Frankincense. Mm-hmm. And I use this one today. Um, I've actually got the new Essentials Anti-Aging Moisturizer, which I really love. But um, first thing in the morning after I wash my face, I put a squirt of the Anti-Aging Moisturizer, a drop of Yarrow Palm, and then a drop of frankincense oil in the palm of my hand. And I rub it all together and um, just smush. That's my morning, you know, facial routine. Um, If I've got dry lips, I actually rub a frankincense and coconut oil around my lips. um, Oh, that's a great idea. I find it to be quite gentle for Winnie. So, um, you know, I'll put it, I'll tend to put a drop of this in her diffuser at nighttime. Um, and it goes into my cold and flu balm as well. And, you know, I've got 50 uses for this oil, but those are the most common ones. It's always in my kind of cold and flu honey pot with oregano and lemon, like the flume blend as well. Right. And, um, if I ever have the chance to give myself a manicure it obviously goes um with some coconut oil on my cuticles and nails and yeah it's just a really handy one for you know hair skin and nails Mm -hmm. i love that i like to do a drop under the tongue in the morning um i get in good habits of it and then i fall off of the habit but i like to do frank and copaiba like i'll keep it in my makeup bag so i do my makeup it just part of my routine um but the number one thing i do find with women you were mentioned it putting on your face is that this literally will reduce the wrinkles and so i had multiple friends that they were like just putting it on straight just taking a few um drops you know um putting it right on and they were like in two days they're like i mean obviously it's not gonna remove them completely but it's going to like decrease them and they're like oh my gosh i can't believe it and then my cousin was dealing with um I don't know what's, maybe you know the name. I can't remember what's the name of it. When you have hormones right after a baby and your face is all um, discolored. Do you know what I'm talking about? So sometimes it happens when you're, when you're pregnant, it's just the hormones. You have like dark patches on your face and it comes out even more in the sun. Anyway, so she put 40 drops of frankincense into rose hip oil and put that on her face and the entire thing cleared up. So... It's pretty amazing on what frankincense can do. And that was another thing I was going to say is I personally don't use it for this. But issues, but as people need sort of inflammation and rheumatoid issues as well. Right. And that's the way you can, you can really use that internally and topically for that sense too. Exactly. So, yes. Exactly. All right. Which one do you have next? Next we'll move on to lemon. And uh, I know I have both used this one already today. Um, really great for, and actually I just someone else use it today lemon is amazing for um, detoxing the body, giving energy um, killing any odors uh, my mother-in-law just wrote me because she had some sort of painting issue down in the basement and her whole house just smelt like disgusting paint fumes so I told her to use lemon oil and um, that'll really help clear the air it's a purifying oil um, lemon oils are really full of limonene so they're going to have tons of um therapeutic properties when it comes to uh, energy and cleansing. So yeah, this is a really great oil. Um, and even just for baking, right? I use this one all the time as a flavor extract. You can use 
in place of, I think, cup and fest in any recipe. Mm -hmm. I love adding the lemon or the lime to anything that calls for lemon and lime because I love, love, love how it tastes. It's so fresh. So fresh. I would say just add, that's probably one of my most used oils that I go through the fastest because I'm drinking it every single day in my water. But I don't know if it's because now it's like almost springtime or we're selling our house or it's like we're cleaning all the time. But I'm like, I can't get enough of the lemon just to clean the space and to cleanse out and kind of get ready for the next season. I'm like using it literally in every area of my life and, and using it all the ways because it's so cleansing and purifying and fresh and renewing and you just feel so good. I love it. So. Um, next is peppermint. And I already used this one today as well. Um, really great for waking up the senses. Uh, any sort of respiratory issues, digestive issues, um, headaches, uh, congestion. Um, you have to be a great You know, if I happen <laughs> can't say everything. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, yes. So it really supports um, head tension. Um, head tension, exactly. And if I happen to not have deep blue on me, I would have applied peppermint topically yep. to ease my mouth. So this there. I feel um, so good. Then, yeah, baking it as well. Um, I use peppermint oil all the time. It's a great flavor, and um, and yeah, it just adds a really nice uh, peppermint extract. Uh, replacement in your baked chocolate baked goods, uh, especially. Yes, the chocolate. We make the peppermint brownies. <laughs> we'll do that. Like five drops of it to a batch of brownies. And then um, eight by eight. That's a lot. Of yeah, you get. Well, Becky got me hooked on doing that. I was only adding like a couple, and she was doing eight. And so I'm like, fine, I'll, I'll do five. She's like all about the peppermint, and I'm like, you know, I was doing three, and it wasn't as you know, pepperminty, but just think you will be able to digest the brownie now. <laughs> it smells so good, uplifting. Love it. Yeah. Coffees too. Alicia got me hooked on that. She's always adding peppermint oil to her lattes. You know, any any coffee that has like a creamy component to it, really delicious. Yeah. I call that Christmas in a cup because it just smells like Christmas. Yes. I love it. What's next? Exactly. Next, uh, lavender, of course, this is Bill's, um, most often in my home, I would say, um, in the one I use most often, and it's just really beautiful Bulgarian lavender, um, smells really sweet compared to the French, and yeah, I really, you know, just really love this, it's really great for supporting anything to do with the skin, um, you know, any skin issue that arises, um, can be helped by a bit of lavender oil. So, um, you go and, um, yeah, um, creating a sense of calm and supporting healthy um, neurological function. I love it. I add this to my baths. So, I take a bath with Epsom salt, baking soda, and oils. And lavender is one of my go to oils because of the calming properties. Um, but if you're a mom, I highly there's a few things that I highly recommend you keep like in your kitchen so you can easily grab it and lavender is one of them helichrysum is another one and and we actually just had to use that this weekend for an emergency but um lavender because if you're in the kitchen and you accidentally burn yourself or even worse like your child burns themselves touching something then you can have the lavender you just put it on straight right onto the skin and it will help it like it, I mean, obviously not if it's like a huge burn then, um, you know, but if it's just a small little thing, uh, put put it on and it's just like so soothing and it's like it didn't even happen. And, and so I was, that was one of my first experiences with the lavender as I heard that from another mom. And she said that she didn't even believe it. She's like, well, they must not have even got burned because it was like gone right away. Um, yeah. So I, I remember that and I kept it in my kitchen just because she recommended to do that. And so I had, we were taking a tray of food out and my little Andrew was probably 
three or something or how four and we say don't touch it right because it's hot and then he like literally went and touched it and burned the finger and uh, we put the lavender oil on right away and then it was like it, we couldn't believe it how fast it like went away so it's just one of those little tricks just leave it leave it handy so you can have it in the emergency you know and that's the other thing is see i love how you have all your oils displayed out there keep your oils out because you need to use them and if they're out of sight you're out of mind you know and so have them in your kitchen the kitchen oils and your cooking oils and your bathroom to do your self-care and your kids rooms when you want to diffuse at night with the, with their room or um wherever you're going to use the oils put them out in that spot so they're handy and you use them that's that's the whole point we want to create this lifestyle for you yeah i've actually just um really convinced myself it's okay to have two or three bottles of each oil and keep one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen, and then one for me to take bearing them with other people. So I'm like, you know, instead of having to like take them out of this and bring them to other places, I'm like, no, you know what, just buy extra. You can have one in this place, one in that place. It's totally okay. They don't go bad, you know, as long as they're out of light and heat, you just, you know, it's okay. They're going to last for years and they can just sit there as long as you need them to. I love that. And, and, Becky and our team has an every oil kit on her top, her main floor, or uh, her upstairs and her main floor. And so she's like, I've got it wherever I need them. They're there, you know. So I'm like, that. those are goals. I need to do that. I need to have an every oil kit, like, everywhere. <laughs> it, what car? Someone made, like, an oil shelf for the car, like a rack that comes down. Out of the oh, wow. I <laughs> I would be nervous about driving in the summer. You'd have to probably take them out in the summer. So it's not too hot. Um, awesome. Okay, so what's next? Um, oregano. So that's in the long. Um, yeah, we're going with all the single oils first, and then we'll move on to the blends. So, um, you know, the really the only thing I use this for, and, you know, I use it quite all the time, is just for immune support. This is, like, my go-to um and also supporting healthy skin nails fungal issues that type of thing mm -hmm. yeah Can you use this one in your cooking for your sauces or anything i find it you know i don't want i've got a two-year-old at the moment so i'm not totally comfortable using that one cooking in my sauces just because it's so strong yeah. and you know i just um yeah, so I don't so and I don't make a lot of spaghetti honestly that's not a go-to in my house so mm -hmm. I don't use it much but people totally do and um yeah I guess that's just not one of my uses have you tried it in spaghetti? Yeah, we love it well I'll add basil and oregano to my sauce but we you have to remember too we have six people in our family so like I add like two drops and it's like a whole pot of food you know what I mean like food for everybody and I have three boys and a husband and they they all like are hungry and there could be leftovers so I agree you only use a little bit um but yeah. my kids love it so um you know they really like it and so the other thing that I, oregano is like one of my oils that I'm like kind of close to because that was one of the ones I started with, with my Lyme disease just to support the immune system and so I was putting that at the bottom of my feet every day and yes I was smelling like a pizza everywhere that was before I knew about veggie caps hold on a second so I'm getting a call there we go um, I, and I didn't even know about making a roller bottle. I was literally just putting it all on my feet every day because I didn't know. I didn't have someone guiding me in the beginning. You know, I was just figuring it out on my own. So um, the other the other thing that people have reported back is is um, if they have warts, you know, or plantar warts on their feet, the oregano and you like tape it up helps. And then also um, any like other skin tags or things but you would do it diluted doTERRA sells it diluted that you can use it anywhere on your body um otherwise if if you're using it yourself only do the bottom of your feet and have you have to have it diluted it's the strongest oil <laughs> it's very hot um so i wouldn't recommend you putting it anywhere else except for the bottom of your feet it's very potent and if you're taking it internally for immune building like I was, you have to do it 10 days on and then 20 days off, just like you would a medication, 10 days on, and then give your body a break from it because it's very strong, but it's very effective, very effective. Yeah. Um, next is 
tea tree or as um, some people know it by the botanical name Melaleuca. I'm going to name Melaleuca because being a local name. So that wasn't um, super bothersome to me, but I know lots of people are going to be happy with that. Um, but tea tree essential oil, um, the main places I use it are, you know, supporting healthy skin and nails again, um, issues and things like that. And then, uh, um, I don't find you, but for years and Glad the ear infections. I don't know, <laughs> like, cause that's where I use it the most. See, this is the thing. Um, we'll have to chat about this later because I'm herbalist. I know where oils work for certain things, so I have the trouble with talking in certain ways. But um, yeah, so you were going out a little bit, but I got what you were saying about the um, ear discomfort. Um, but yeah, lavender and maluca around the ear are awesome for that. Uh, my kids have not had that actually so but I heard from like Nikki and our group she actually has the um it's on the stethoscope what is the what is the thing that goes in the ear where you check the ear um anyway she has one and she saw the ear discomfort coming in and she has eight kids and she knows how to like do everything but she put melaleuca or tea tree and lavender um and it, you could put it in a cotton ball and then put the cotton ball in your ear because you don't want to put it in the ear and then all the way around the ear. And by the morning, she looked into the into the thing and it was like totally gone. Like she actually saw the before and after for one day. So it's pretty crazy. But our number one way of using melt tea tree is um, my kids. They're both 13 and 11. And so you're, they're hormonal and getting hormonal skin and so they have their own bottle in their bathroom that no one's allowed to touch and they know that if they're getting like a zit is starting to come which they really don't have a lot so just once in a while but they have it and they're like putting it on and and they that's their go-to they're like it works they swear by it and then they use hd clear every day all over their face but this is like their trouble spot treatment that they use and then insect repellent as well, I guess, for other people that have kids, it's a great one to add to your bottles of shampoo and um, just keep that, you know, as a preventative measure against little creepy crawlies. <laughs> yeah, and I'll give a big plug for the Terra Shield too, because that repels ticks. Yeah. And because I have Lyme disease, I hate, hate, hate all bugs like I already did, but now I'm kind of a paranoid bomb about that. And so you can just spray it on to you know or make your own spray and we live in new jersey this this is like where all the ticks live okay because it was like on the east coast and we have not had one tick on us okay we also do spray an organic spray in our yard but we go out the kids are at school you know everywhere and luckily um you know in the bad times we use that spray and it is no problem for us yeah Great. um moving on to the blends uh, we'll start with Deep Blue, which is another oil that I've already used today um, just to help reduce the inflammation in my pelvic area. Um, you know, uh, with my menstrual discomfort, um, really great for soothing icky joints, um, any sort of inflammation. And uh, oh, there she goes. I'm going to join you and put them on my stomach too. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, you know, anyone that I know that has uh, rheumatoid conditions uses this, you know, to support as well. Whew. Whew. When I was running my half marathon, I put that in the bath, too, and it just, like, helped everywhere. So if you're dealing with, um, you know, if you're hardcore training before and after a workout, that's great to use. Or, like I said, a bath. Um, I know a lot of pregnant friends like to put it on because their muscles are just so sore, especially like their hip flexors and their like back. Um, oh, the other the other thing about Deep Blue is if you are um, if you have a spouse or a partner and they're like not sure about the oils, you just give them the Deep Blue and they will convert <laughs> to like the oils. We call like the gateway into DoTerra for the men, um, the Broteras, right? Because 
it works so fast. Yeah. Yeah, and in a pinch for the head tip as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, this is a blend that Bonnie knows as Breathe, but here in Canada, we call it Easy Air. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our spray blend, and it will literally support any respiratory issue you have. So, you know, the name says it all. To do because it kind of speaks for it says really no even that part of the won't help with so and mostly use the aromatic way um i was supposed to just you know do the cupping inhale and diffuse while i sleep mm -hmm. perfect yep and i like to, i do like to put a uh, drop on my chest sometimes for a good run because it will open up the airways yeah. and if you or your spouse or partner have snoring issues, right? You can diffuse that. I don't know, you cut out again, so I'm not sure if you said that, but I've had so many women tell me that they diffused it on their partner's side of the bed and it helped with their snoring so they were able to get a good night's sleep. <laughs> so it's another trick for you. Great. And then another oil that speaks for itself is our digestive blend Zengest or Digest Zen in the US and once again, same as respiratory oil, digestive oil, anything to do with the digestive system, this will help. Um, you know, no questions too silly, no issue is too small. And yeah, if it has to do with the gut, belly, throat, esophagus, any type of that, this is the oil you want to use. And yeah, just supports and heals. And it also <laughs> helps with motion sickness, we found. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're getting the comments that they are going to try the snoring solution. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> I've so many, so many people have told me that was one of their best things was getting their partner to stop snoring so they can have a good night's sleep. Right. <laughs> so even if they don't know what's going on, you can also take. If, if someone is snoring, you could even have them put the breathe on their um, feet if they will let you before they go to bed. And having on the feet and breathing it in is, is going to be more powerful depending on if they'll let you, you know, maybe give them a, a rub, foot rub down. They, they'll be more open to that idea. I don't know. <laughs> well, funny, maybe, you know, um, in your Using them alongside a sleep apnea machine in with one of the breathing devices. Okay, wait, I cut out. Did you say put it into the device? Not necessarily, but um, like, do you have people that use them alongside the machines? I don't actually have effect or no. end up. I don't know. I don't, okay, I don't know that area, so I don't want to be responsible for <laughs> for something I have no clue okay. about. I'll look into it a little bit more. Yeah. And um, lastly, when it comes to the blend, this is one of my favorites in the whole wide world, um, is the on blend. And yeah, this oil, most people who have this oil use it regularly because as opposed to oregano, um, this is one that's kind of a preventative oil and should be used as much as you can possibly remember. Um, having this oil in roller bottle form is really, um, the handiest and most convenient way to remember to use it really often. And yeah, it just supports the immune system in a really complete way. And um, yeah, it just really helps your body to defend itself when it comes into contact with, with um, environmental threats. I love it. It smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> it's beautiful. You can have it diffusing 24 seven. It's, it's one of the main ones and someone was asking earlier what's like the top oils with a big family to use and i would say a lot of people start with i mean they start with the whole top 10 that's honestly the, the kit they start with but on guard because when you can clean the air and it does so many different things it helps the immune system and all that it i mean i, I don't want to say if you could just use one oil right because there's there's so many that we like but like you said it was your favorite it does so many things and it, when you can build immunity and clean the air at the same time. Everyone will enjoy that benefit. 
you know, mm. and I make DIY hand sanitizer. You can do so many things with it. So, okay. So let me, and I'm like looking at the time too. Let me uh, close this out here. So first of all, thank you, Bree. This was so much fun. I love, love doing classes with you and like, learning from you. And I think by the comments, um, they are loving it too. And for the people watching the replay, thank you for being on. Now, this is kind of like what we were saying. It's like, okay, you, you love the oils and you want to get started and create that natural lifestyle. To really create that lifestyle, we do recommend there's a kit called the Home Essential Kit, right? And that has the top 10 oils that we were, I don't know if you guys can see that we were just talking about in the big size bottle and it has the diffuser, okay? So that is like, when someone comes to me and they're like, what do I do? Where do I start? I don't even know how to get started with oils. I say the same thing. Um, the home essential kit. Get the oils into your home. And I, and I want to put them on a plan for like a natural lifestyle. Because I don't just want you to just get the kit and then never open a bottle or, or anything like that. Like we're starting this lifestyle with you of natural living and seeing what you can replace maybe that you were using before that's not as natural and and just try out the natural lifestyle and see how you feel your body will tell you how you're feeling you know and that's what i did i was very skeptical <laughs> and i didn't think it was gonna work and i literally was just thinking i was gonna cross it off the list of something that wasn't working and then move on to the next thing but something kept telling me like try the oils try the oils and so i was resistant like i did not want to it actually took me months of researching before I even tried an oil, you know, the doTERRA oil, okay? Um, months, because I and I want to save you that time <laughs> from doing all that, like, um, you know, just just trust the process and that getting the top 10 oils into your home. And then I say for the first month, try those oils all the ways, you know, the ways that we talked about. Uh, we have Essential Life book, who is like the best book for referencing everything. And just stick to the top 10 oils, research those, use those, get to know them, be familiar with them. And then you can add on later to, you know, other specific oils that you need, because these will do about 80 to 90% of your health needs, at least when you're getting started, you know. Um, and we, we don't want to overwhelm you with even more because there's there's a lot more we can tell you about oils. But we want to just keep it basic and simple and just in, introduce you to the idea of oils if you're brand new or if you've been using them. We'd love for you to use the doTERRA because you will literally smell the difference if you're using another brand or, um, like I said, from the gas station oil or whatever that you're using. Um, there's just nothing that compares. You have to smell it to to experience that. And I wish I could give it to you through the screen, but we can't. Um, and so to do that, Brie, how's the best way that they can get a hold of you or order from you? What would be the best way? Just contact me directly um, through my website, which is essentiallybalancedlife.ca or through Facebook Messenger. And if you know me personally, just chat with me um, via phone or in person. Like, Ideally, we would have a little talk beforehand and just figure out, um, you know, which way to get started is best for you. But if you're really a self-starter, then just go straight to my website and um, we'll go from there. If, if that's the way you go, then I will find you. Otherwise, you just come and find me. Yep. And I'll say one more thing. The Brie takes care of her customers. She loves on them. She educates them. Like, she's committed. She's very committed to what she does and she does this because she loves the oils she loves helping other women she loves the community she loves teaching like i said i mean i can learn so much from her because she's tons of experience with the oils and um and she shows up you know and if you guys are in her group you know that she shows up and so uh what you're feeling like you're ready to get going and take that step like she's there for you like every step of the way and then after you enroll, you are part of our whole larger community, too. So right now you're in her group, which is amazing, and she's going to continue to pour into you. Um, then you also get part of our whole community, which is called um, the Essential Club, the Essential Oil Club. And we are, like, constantly, constantly posting videos, files, recipes, giveaways. Ways. It's like this huge community you didn't even know that you needed. Now you have. 
you know, and there's thousands of people in it from worldwide. So um, if whatever you're dealing with, you can like research it. You can ask a question. Let's say you're like, I've never used this oil. How do I use it? And people will be in there talking about it. You let's say you're dealing with a health issue. You can search it in the box and you're hearing from real people that have already dealt with that. So again, it, we're here again, not just to like get you to start with the oils, but to live the oils and join our community and really make that life switch like right now. That's what we're passionate about. So much support in this company. Amazing, you know, like, yeah. Thank you so much for coming, Bonnie. I know you've got, um, well, we've both got another live to do in a few. Uh, yep. Another, yep. another one in four minutes. So I will log off you guys. Thanks for having me. I love getting in here and educating and sharing and I will see you in our other group. All right. Bye everyone. Thanks for getting on. Yeah. Bye. Any questions, just write them in the comments.